I am so excited to come your way again. My name is Ekuwashen, and you welcome to Power Unlimited TV show. How to start your own business. How you can start your own business. Now, the reason why I'm sharing this message tonight is very simple. I have been seen every day on social media platforms, especially Facebook, you see somebody putting it in a group that friends pray for me. I've lost my job. Friends, I need a job. Friends, if you know somebody that you can link me. Friends, I need a job. I've lost my job. I need your job. So when I when I when I saw some of these comments, okay, in some of uh, the Facebook groups, I decided that okay, then let me teach people how they can start their own businesses. Because it is possible for you to start your own business. It is possible for everyone listening to me to start his or her own business. Okay? So, whenever you, 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 you get, you, like, they, they, they eject you, or whenever you, 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 you lose your job, Good evening, Mr. Weber. Good evening. Please, whatever you're watching us from, please share this video. Share this video. When, when you lose your job, okay, don't become sad. Don't become sad that you've, you've lost your job. When you lost your job, you have to thank God that actually uh, you, have, you, have, you have lost your job. So people, when they lost their job, they will be crying and they will be they will be talking and they will be murmuring and 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 they will be in a negative state when you lose your job that is the time you start or you think about how you can start your own business it is easy for anybody to start his or her own business please let me know where you are watching us from please let me know your name let me know where you are watching us from and please share this video it is easy for anybody on this earth to start his or her own business but tonight i'm going to show you how hmm, how you can start your own business how you can start your own business it is so sad when you see young guys young women hmm, who are not having anything to do or when you see young graduates that they've come out of school and they don't have any work they don't have any work sometimes you will see this young graduate eh? young graduates they will be home for four or five years looking for somebody to employ them because you went to school and they told you they taught you that you cannot start a business you have to always look for somebody to employ you so you have been conditioned and you have been trained to always look for a job and and tonight i'm going to teach you a simple way that anybody watching this program anyone watching this program tonight can start his or her own business even in your in your single room you can start that business in your garage you can start that business in your living room i'm going to show you the simple way to 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 start that business now for you to be able to start a business one thing that you need number one is what is an idea an idea you see in life eh, whatever stop stops you or whatever stop you from generating ideas has also stopped you from what making money Anything that will stop you from generating ideas, anything that will stop you from generating business ideas has also stopped you from making money. So instead of you to go to church every day and be praying and be buying devils, buying devils, the devil is not your problem. Ignorance is your problem. It is not the devil. That is your problem. It is ignorance. That is your problem. So let me tell you something. Anything that stops you from generating ideas has also stopped you from what making money what you need to understand is that this money that you see this money that you see is what is paper 
This money that you see is paper. And money is not in heaven. Money is on this earth. Human beings created this paper. Okay? Human beings created this paper. And for you to get this paper, you are not supposed to travel to America. You are not supposed to travel to Europe. You are not supposed to travel to Asia before you can have money. Money does not have any geographical location. Money what, does not have any geographical location. The headquarters of money is not in America. Please share. Wherever you are watching us from, please share. Share this video. Share this video. Share this video. The, head, the headquarters of money is not in America. The headquarters of money is not in Europe. Money is what? It's a product of your mind. This money is a product of your mind. So if you can sit down and think, if you can sit down and come out with an idea, idea, you will make a lot of money. You don't have to travel to Europe or America before you will make money. If you can sit down and generate ideas, you make a lot of money. So, money is what is around you. Money is around you. But you don't have the eyes to see money that is around. Listen to me. This money that you see is all around you. It's all around you. But you don't have the eyes to see opportunities. You don't have the eyes to see money around you. So you are always complaining. You are always blaming the system, blaming government, blaming economy, blaming so many things. Okay, but I am going to teach you how you can be able to start a business and how you can be able to generate some of this money. So, I said earlier on that for you to start a business, you need an idea. You need an idea to start a business. So, how do you generate ideas? Number one, ideas comes through looking. Ideas, you can generate a business idea through what? Through looking. Through looking. Looking at people. So, when you are working in town, when you are working in your community, when you are working, you are not so, you are supposed to open your eyes. When I say open your eyes, I'm talking about your mind. Because ideas comes through what? Through looking. Through looking. Looking at what? The things around you. Looking at your environment. Looking at people around you. That is where you can generate ideas. Okay? Now, you have to pay attention. You have to pay close attention to what is happening around you. I'm, I'm teaching about business. So for you to generate business ideas, you have to pay close attention. Please share this video. Share this video. Share this link. Share this video. <coughs> for you to generate business ideas, you need to open your eyes and study the things that is happening around you. Observe this world. Observe your world. Open your eyes and observe this world. If you can observe your world, if you can observe the things around you, you can generate business ideas. Listen to me. You cannot develop ideas by ignoring what you see, you, 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 you see, what you see is very, very important. Let me show you something. In your area, the community that you live, people are always complaining. People are always talking about a certain woman who is supposed to supply them or who is supposed to open the shop at eight. And because the woman went to a funeral and the woman has spent, let's say, Two weeks, and the woman has not been opening the shop. So every day, the masses or the people in your community are always what? Are always talking that this woman does not come to work early. This woman does not come to work early. This woman does not come to work early. This woman does, does not want to open the shop. You see, when people are complaining, that is where you can make money. Listen to me. When you see people complaining, eh, people talking. When you see people talking, People are yearning for change. People are yearning for solutions. Because listen to me. The masses are always looking for somebody to what? To lead them. The masses are always looking for somebody to lead them. 
So you always have to train your mind. You always have to train yourself to, to solve other people's what? Problem. So pay attention. Pay close attention. Pay close attention to what people are desiring. What people are desiring. What are the things that people are talking about? What are the things that the masses are talking about? What are the things that people are yearning to see? Try and provide what the people are talking about for them. Number two. You generate business ideas through listening. Listening. Through listening. Listen to me. Anytime your eye sees a problem, your mind triggers a solution. Anytime your mind, your eye sees a problem, your mind triggers a solution. So God has given you your brain, your mind, not to meditate on problems. God has given you your brain to what? To solve problems. You are a money-making machine. Your brain is a money-making machine. This brain that God has given you is a money-making machine. So you always have to bring out what solutions. So number two, you, have, you can generate business ideas through what? Through looking, it, through listening. So when you pay attention to what people are saying, Pay attention to what people are saying. What people are yearning for. What people are desiring. Analyze what the people are thinking through through it. When you hear people complaining over a certain problem and over again. When you hear people complaining over a certain problem. You hear them complaining over a certain problem. Complaining about the problem. Talking about problem. Over and over and over and over again. Try to give them solution. Try to give them solution. Let me let me let me tell you something. Richard Branson, the, the, the owner of Virgin Atlantic, once upon a time, he was traveling to one of the uh, Caribbean islands. And the flight that Richard Branson supposed to use got delayed. And 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 actually they even canceled the, the, the flight. So Richard Branson said. He, he, he hired a flight to, to his destination. So the, the people around who, who were also going to the same destination, the same city that he was traveling to, uh, the same country that he was traveling to, he decided that he is going to charter the plane and he is going to what charge them a fee. Okay. So when he chartered the when he bought the plane or when he chartered the plane, he collected certain amount of money from all the people that bought the plane okay so from there he discovered the idea that that he is going to establish what virgin atlantic and he started his own airline what business he started his own airline business so stop complaining stop complaining the masses are always complaining the masses are always complaining don't be among the masses if you are going to succeed you have to do opposite don't be part of what the masses are always talking about. Don't be part of all the, what the masses are talking about. Be, try to always take yourself out of what? Out of the masses. Because the masses will never see any good thing. Mm? So you always have to take yourself out of what? Out of the masses. Take yourself out of the masses. And you have to do opposite of what the masses are what? Or, or of, of what the masses are what? Are saying. Now... So, for you to become rich on this earth, you must become a master of what? Recognizing people's needs. For you to become rich on this earth, you must be able to become a master of what? Recognizing people's needs. What are the things that people are looking for? Become a solution. Because money hides in problems. And you can also, okay, you can always generate business ideas through what problems. Let me tell you a story. There was a particular country in Africa. And 
two companies in America, they sent their sales officials or sales officers to go to that town and go and survey that if they can have people in that particular country to buy or to patronize their shoe because it was a shoe manufacturing company it was two different two different companies and the story says that it was a rare story the story says that the first person that went to the city or that went to the town he saw all the people in that country not wearing any shoe they were not wearing shoes so he quickly sent message to america and he said program aborted all the people in this city all the people in this country they don't wear shoes they don't wear shoes now the second person also went to the same city and when he went to the same city he saw all the people in that country or that city not wearing any shoes they were not, they were not wearing any shoes so he sent message to america to the to this company that all the people in this country all the people in this city they are not wearing any shoe they don't wear shoes so we have an opportunity to sell our shoes to them and they, they generated what a business from that people not wearing shoes let me tell you something money is a product of your mind money is a product of your mind if you are going to sit down and rack your brain if you are going to sit down and think about what you can sell what can you sell because you see in this life eh, everybody is selling something everybody is selling something so what can you sell to people it is either you are selling something to somebody or somebody is selling something to you listen to me don't be so confident Mm? In that government sector, that public sector, okay, don't be so confident in that sector. Let me tell you something. A time will come that the 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 the, the company that you spent all your life to build, a time will come that they, they will take you out of the company. So it is time you have to start your own business. It is time. You have to start your own business. Think about COVID-19. When COVID-19 pandemic came, it took us by surprise. And, 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 and are all the countries in this world, majority of they went on lockdown. We were home. In Ghana, I was home. And at the end of the day, I was asking myself that in my retirement, when I'm 70, when I'm 60-something, when I'm 70, I will not be going anywhere. Now, use COVID-19 to think about your retirement. Use COVID-19. Let COVID-19 teach you a lesson that in your retirement, you will not be going anywhere in your retirement. You will be home. And when you are home, health issues, you are supposed to go to the hospital to see your doctor for, for so many And at the end of the day, you are home. And you need multiple of multiple streams of what income you need money to survive and some parents when 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 they are when when they are in their 60 something 70s that is when they put a lot of pressure on their children now what i'm teaching you today don't live to be 70 don't live to be to be an old woman an old man before you will say that I regretted not taking a step. I regretted not starting this business. Now, how can you start certain business? Number one, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. When I see students, when I see people saying that there's no job, there are no jobs, and they have been sacked from work and they are crying. I always say that these people are not using the mind that God has given them. Your mother was a kinky seller. And your mother or your, your mother was what? Or your mother is a plantain seller at the market. Your mother has been selling contumbre, tomatoes, garden eggs, onion. Now, you've completed university. 
but you have been told or you've, you've been taught that that market business are for illiterate. That market business is for illiterate. So you don't even believe in your mother's business. You don't even believe in that business, that Kenke business. Your mother sold Kenke and he looked after you at secondary school. Your mother sold both road, both road, and he, he, she took care of you whilst you were at secondary school, uh, at university. And now you've completed what? University. And you are not working and you are still depending on your mother. Listen to me. Why don't you take charge of your mother's business? Why don't you think about how you can add something to your mother's what? Business. Creativity. Creativity. Now, with social media, for instance, with social media, for instance, you can set up a page, okay? A lot of people in Accra, in Kumasi, Takrade, they cannot go to the market because they are so busy at the workplace. They are so busy at the workplace. So, why don't you advertise your, your business on Facebook or Instagram that you can supply people with foodstuffs? Kotomre, garden eggs, Pepper, onion, yam, plante, kobe, amane. You can think about some of these things. So you so 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 the, the, the best way to do a business is what is to take an existing product, take something that exists, mm, and add value or additional benefit to it and offer it at old price or at a cheaper price. So I said, your mother's business. Take care of your mother's business. Take charge of your father's business. Recently, I saw a young lady. And this young lady, she's a carpenter. And she's on all over on social media. Because she, she, she growing up, eh, she was always at the fat, uh, with, with her father at the shop. So she has now taken over her father's business. And she's now a carpenter. And people were people were people were giving the lady thumbs up and people were so happy for the lady. Why don't you think along that line? To succeed there, eh, you have to do what others are not willing to do. So be begin to advertise your product on Facebook. I was watching a lady eh, in America, and she I think she is a real estate developer. And, 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 and the lady, do, during this COVID-19 pandemic, eh, the lady started doing shit up, shit up, just shit up, shit up, shit up, shit up. And the, the lady was able to, he sold about $50,000 shit up, $50,000 shit up in America, $50,000 shit up in America, $50,000 shit up in America. So why don't you take something like that, shit up? Tom Brown, why don't you think about what people believe that, oh, there is no money in shit. People believe that, oh, there is no money in food business. Start a restaurant. Start a restaurant in your living room. Start a restaurant in your kitchen, at that kitchen. You know how to cook. You can cook very well. You can cook very well. Okay? You can cook very well. Learn how you can cook and sell to people now we have online food delivery you can you can you can you can cook and deliver the food to people at a fee because people are always eating people are some people are eating in the morning afternoon and what in the evening and people are so lazy to cook some people are so lazy. People are too lazy. They are too lazy to cook. Why don't you? Why don't you cook for people? Now, let me tell you something. I come from Akimoda. When you are going to Akimoda, on the road to Akimoda, you see all the villages around the way going to Akimoda. You see these villages, eh? Sometimes... They don't have people to buy their farm uh, produce. So they bring what? Their farm product. Eh? They bring it from, 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 the, from the farm. 
and always you see at the roadside, you see the you see their their food stuff, you see their farm produce lying at the roadside. Now begin to go to these farmers. You go to these farmers and you try to buy their product at a cheaper price. And advertise on social media. Advertise that you can sell organic product. You can sell organic food stuff. You can sell food stuff fresh from the village, fresh from the from 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 the from, from the uh, the farm to them. And people will buy. People will buy. So I said that take an existing product. How to start a business? Take an existing product. Add value or additional benefit to it and offer it at an old price or what? A cheaper price. Now, let me let me show you something. When I say when I say take an existing product, let's let's look at the pure water business. Now the pure water business, I was listening to a man who started. A man who started the, the first pure water business in Ghana. The man said he went to Nigeria and in the traffic he saw somebody drinking pure water. So when he came to Ghana, he decided that he decided that he's going to start a pure water business. Now, when you look at the pure water business, for instance, the pure water business, for instance, you realize that it is something. That has been there for so many years. When I was growing up, we used to we, we used to buy water in, in rubber. You will see somebody selling, yes, ice, yes, ice water, yes. Those times eh, they used to put water in cooler. In cooler. So you see in town at the stage, you see, yes, pure, yes, pure, yes, pure. And the pure water vendor, the pure water seller, will just put a cup. In, 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 in the rubber and fetch the pure water for you for you to drink it now it came to a time that they were using this banku rubber the rubber and they were putting pure water inside now so this man was in Nigeria and he saw that people were drinking water from this sachet rubber so he took the idea from what from Nigeria and he brought it here to Ghana he brought the idea here to Ghana and he started this pure water business in Ghana. And look at pure water business. So, always take what an existing product and try to add value to that existing product. Let's take something like first, when, when, when you want to drink uh, tea, you have to buy milo, nido, or milk, or sugar. Now, Kwame Despite started this with chocolate, uh, chocolate drink. And this way, this way, chocolate, chocolate drink, eh? it is three in one. They have the, the, the Milo or the, 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 the Choco or whatever in one, okay? And they have the sugar. They have the milk powder in it. So you only need what? Your bread and what? And your water. You just open the, the rubber and you add it or you put it in what? In hot water and you stir it and you are good to go. This business or this thing was an existing product, but they added something to what they added something to it. Now, let's take something like neat fufu. Now, you can go to the shop and you can buy powdered fufu, okay? Powdered fufu, a uh, powdered one, and you come and you just put uh, water and you, 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 you prepare the, the fufu. But at first, you have to go to market. Even today, people people love me, for instance, I love the natural one, the tintin one. So you go to the market and it is so hectic, it is so difficult to prepare fufu. You go to the market and you come home, you buy your cassava, you buy your plantain and, and you peel it and you put it on, you boil it. Okay, you boil it and at the end of the day, after boiling it, you have to put it and you, you'll be pounding it more time you'll be pounding it with sweat and other things. But somebody sat down and he said, no, let me find a way of adding value to what? This fufu. So they, they, they've, they've, they've grinded everything. They've put it in one what? 
in one rubber. You understand what I'm saying? So you have to always find an existing product. Open your mind and find an existing product and add something to this existing product. Add something to this existing product. Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Don't try to re reinvent the wheel. Now, another thing that I'm going to talk about is what? Is packaging. How you can package something. Now, when you look at this bottle, okay, this is medicine. If I am going to the shop to buy medicine and I see this medicine, I will not buy it. I will not buy it because the FDA does not have what they are seal here. They've not branded this product because if I, I if I buy this product and I and I take this product eh, and I swallow this uh, uh, pill, I, I, I take this product and at the end of the day, it causes it causes what uh, something to my health. I cannot trace the owner. I cannot be able to see the person who produced this. But you see, when you go to the shop and you see something like this, something like this, you buy because. The brand, everything is what? Everything is powerful. It's nice. It's, uh, look, look, it looks nice. So look look at this. Look at this two. Which one are you going to take when you went to the shop? Which one are you going to take? You are going to take this one. So, packaging is something that is very, very important. Because when I go to the shop and I want to buy medicine and I see this medicine, I will not buy it, but I will buy this medicine. I will buy this medicine. I will buy this medicine because they've packaged the product Everything is on point. They've packaged it in a sense that it is so nice. It is so it, it look it looks attractive. So I'll buy. Man, this one I will not buy because there is there, there is no label on this product. Mm? So these two, I will choose this one. So if you are going to do a business, think about how you can you can you can find this product, how you can take this existing product and add something like this what this rubber add something like this brand to your product and you are going to what you are going to attract a lot of people so on the food packaging something new packaging something new that is the easy way to go today we have need a bank coin we have need a wizaboko we have all these things at the market because somebody sat down and he thought about how he can what how he can how he can add something to this product now where you live you are always thinking about what an idea every day an idea has been coming to you but you are afraid to start that business. You are afraid because you are going to fail. You are afraid that you are going to fail. Fear of failure is stopping you from what? From fulfilling your destiny. Listen to me. If you are going to succeed on this earth, you need to think about how you can take failure out of your life. How you can take the fear of failure out of your life. Some of you, it is not, it is not you don't have any idea. You have so many ideas. But you see, how to start it? So if you are looking for a big shop, you are looking for a nice place, you are looking for a nice shop with air conditioning to start your business, you are looking for a nice container to start your business, some of you are looking for big money to start your business. Let me tell you something. You, are, you can never start a business with huge sums of money. Because if you can start a business with huge sums of money, it means that maybe you have saved, when, it means that you've worked and you have saved a lot of money at the bank. But, or maybe you are coming from a good family, a, you have a good family background. And at the end of the day, because you are coming from a good family background, your family can assist you. But listen to me here, Maybe you are coming from a ghetto, you are coming from a poor home, and you want to start a business. How do you start the business? Sometimes you complain that, Pastor, I don't have anything. Pastor, I don't have money. It, it is not true that you don't have money. 
You see, the court of public opinion, that is what is killing you. Because you don't want to start something that your friends are going to laugh at you. You don't want to start something that people are going to laugh at you. So you are thinking about how to have big money to start a business. So some of you, you are living on someday island. So you are saying that a day that I will get money, or oh, next year I'm going to have a lot, of, a lot of money. I'm going to have a so next year I'm going to start, I'm going to start my business. Vote yourself from that someday island and start that business with little amount that you have. Start your business with what? With little capital. Start that business with little amount of money that you have. Because all these great men that you see. Read about Kennedy Japan. You admire Kennedy Japan so much. Read about him. He will tell you where he started from. He was a taxi driver. He, he was a taxi driver in America. Read about Kwame Despite. Despite started selling parlors. I think Nunkwanofi. And parlors and later he and, and cassette. He went to Nigeria. When he went to Nigeria, he bought, he went, he went to Nigeria and he was coming to Ghana. He bought a chainsaw machine. So when he bought the chainsaw machine and he came to Ghana, they started a chainsaw operating business. They went to the bush hmm? with, that, with, with, the, with his chainsaw machine business. And when he was, when they were cutting the tree, the tree that Tima fell on, what? The, chain, the Doma machine. And the normal machine got destroyed. And he was thinking. So he started this, his cassette business. Despite started his cassette business. Look at someone like Dr. Kwekute. Dr. Kwekute, Angel. Angel Cream, Angel FM, Angel Group of Company. They started from somewhere. Look at someone like Multimedia Question. They all started from somewhere. You have to start from somewhere. Look at the, the, the richest man in China, Jack Ma. Jack Ma started Alibaba Company. From nowhere, with some of his friends in his room, they started Alibaba Company. But you are looking at how to have big money, big capital to start. I am saying that start from where you are with that little amount of money that you have. Listen to me. Millions highest in every business. You can generate millions from every business. You can generate Millions of dollars, millions of cities from every business. It depends on you. Because money is what? It's a product of your mind. Accra population is 3 million. Ghana population is what? It's 30 million. I have been telling young guys, I have been telling the youth that if you want to succeed in life, Africa is the easy way. Africa is the best way. Africa is the easy country to succeed. If you want to succeed in this life, America and Europe, the ideas over there are, ch are choked. But Africa, we are now building our roads. We are now building our toilet. We are now building our schools. We are now building our infrastructure. So think about what you can provide. Think about what you can produce. Think about what you can sell. Think about it. What is it that you can sell? What can you sell? What can you sell to people? So you don't need huge sums of money. And tomorrow evening, I'm going to talk about how you are going to raise capital to start your business. I'll be talking about tomorrow evening, seven. I'll be talking about how you can raise capital to start your business. My beloved one, you don't need huge sums of money to start your business, especially if you are coming from a poor home. Learn to start small. Now, my question to you is, what can you sell if you are not working? What can you sell? What product can you sell? That is my question to you. I want you to think. What can I sell? Begin to think about it. Can you, sell, can you cook for people? Can you learn how to paint? Can you learn how to paint? For people can you learn how to paint i was looking at i saw this video there was this master painter and 
This guy can do a wonderful job. Listen to me, 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 listen to me. The rich man at Transaco, the rich man at Cantonment, the rich man at East Ligon, where they live, are they not human beings who painted the house for them? So you can be a professional painter. You see, your, the problem is your mind. You can be a professional painter, learn how to paint. You can be a shoemaker. A shoemaker. A shoemaker. Learn how to <laughs> learn how to fix people's shoes. Learn how to do it. Learn how to sew. Wow. You can be a fashion designer. You can be a designer. Learn it. Knowledge now is, is so common. You go to YouTube and everything that you need is on YouTube. The problem is you don't want to learn. That is your problem. You are always blaming devil, 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 devil because you have been told that your problem, all the problems that you are facing is coming from the devil. So that is what you believe. Please share this video. Share this video. Share this video for me. Share this important video for me. You can be a shoemaker. You can be a shoemaker. Go into, you can go into farming. You need 2,000 Ghana cities. 3,000 Ghana And tomorrow I'm going to show you how. 3,000 Ghana cities. Go to the Vota region. Go to the north. What are you doing in Accra? You are in Accra and you don't have money. You are in Accra and you are staying with a friend. But in your village, in your hometown, you can start a business in your hometown. You not you don't rent any room. You don't rent any house in your hometown. You don't rent. Why don't you relocate to your hometown? Okay, and go and start your life from there. Instead of you struggling in Accra, in your hometown, you can have a, a one room to start life. Go to Vota region. Go to the north, wherever, whatever, and buy goats or sheep. The young ones, like three or four, and start animal farming. Start animal farming. You can start a poultry farm. And tomorrow I'm going to show you. You can start a poultry farm. Learn about poultry farming. You can start a farm. Cocoa farm. You can start a men's farm. I was watching Chemaun to Miss Farm. MPPs. Ashanti Regina Chairman, Chairman Wun to me. This guy is so smart. And the other day they were they, they were saying that Chairman Wun to me cannot speak good English. This guy, they, they were saying he cannot speak good English. Eh? This guy has been able to produce, he has 7,000 acres of what? Maze farm. 7,000 acres of what? Maze farm. Chairman Wun to me said that. He is going to feed Ghana. Chemaun to me said that the MPP, one, uh, 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 what do we call it? School feeding program. He, has, he, is going to, he is going to sell maize to them. And he has a maize farm. Going to farm. You see, think, think. Bakery. Going to bakery business. Ga bakery business. What can you do? What can you add to bakery business? Think. A1 Bread, this young guy was struggling. He went to school at, at the University of Science and Technology. And when he was, when he was there, he started his what? His A1 Bread. Started it. And he said that, I was, I was watching his interview, he said that his first bread that he baked got burnt. He said he, his mother took a loan of 1,300 cities and gave, gave him that loan to start that bakery uh, business. And A1 brought different style of bread to the market. There are, there are different types of bread. Different types of bread. There are different types of bread. Aliko Dangote, is the, he is the richest black man on earth because he started selling what? Flour, he started selling sugar, he started selling cement, he started selling salt. Tell me in Africa, Africa, which 
house in Africa don't eat bread? Tell me in Africa, which house in Africa don't eat salt? Which house in Africa don't eat sugar? But he started this what? His business along these lines. Salt, sugar, flour, and cement. He started it. And Akosu Yashen is saying that when you have poultry farm, Christmas time, Easter, people will rush to you and they will buy. Don't say that I am a woman, so I cannot go into poultry farm. Don't say that I am a man, so I cannot go into food business. Don't say that I am a woman, so I cannot do certain business. For you to start a business, you have to reinvent yourself. You have to educate your, your ignorant mind. You have to educate your ignorant mind. The fact that you are a doctor, the fact that you are a nurse, the fact that you are a teacher, a lawyer, doesn't mean that you can start a business and the business will succeed. If you, you need the relevant skill, and that is what I am giving you. So somebody said, I've started producing Tom Brown. Fantastic. ADB, ADB, fantastic. Please, let me tell you something. You don't have any excuse to fail. You don't have any excuse. Start something with your life. Start something from where you are. Start something with the little money that you have. Can you bother somebody's hair? Can you bother somebody's hair? What are you? I, I used to go to uh, S Men with one of one of my friends. He's in he's in London now. And at S Men, you go and you look at top guys at S Men Barber Shop. And you see, for them to barb your hair for you alone is expensive because that place belongs to top guys. Hmm? I was I was watching. A guy, he said he's celebrities barber. Celebrities barber. And he had, he's the one who has been barbering uh, Sarkodie, Shatawale, all these celebrities. And he has, he has been charging a lot of money from these guys. A guy is in London. Man, uh, I think Manchester. A Ghanaian. And he is the one who has been barbering uh, the Manchester, the celebrity players. He's a barber. So it's not about being ashamed of what being a baba. It's about the value. It's about what you can add. What you can add to what? To that existing thing. Millions highs in every business. Millions highs in any business. It is you. The problem is you. The problem is you. Because you are not thinking. You are not using the mind that God has given you. You are not using the mind that God has given you. So begin to rack your brain. What can you do? What can you do? Go to the market. Go to the market. And you see, in your area, start a food stars business. Go and buy a food stars and begin to sell. They will buy. Never say that you need a shop before you can do something. Now we are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are at the internet age. The only thing you need is what? It's data and your mobile smartphone. And you can do a business wherever you are. I don't know, but I'm going to continue tomorrow. And I'm going to talk about how to raise capital for your business idea. Please, today is your first time watching this program. I want you to share this video. I want you to like this page, Power Unlimited TV. Please like this page. Like this page. And I've established, I've opened a new Facebook. Facebook. A, a, a new uh, WhatsApp platform. We have been sharing ideas there. Please try and join the WhatsApp platform. Try and join the WhatsApp platform on 0244-980407. 0244-980407. And please subscribe to my channel, my channel on YouTube. Power Unlimited TV page. Power Unlimited TV on YouTube. Power Unlimited TV on YouTube. Let me tell you something. The problem is you. The problem is you. Somebody saying that it's true. Sis, I'm thinking of settling in Ghana now and was thinking of animal farm. Emilia Daku, you are right. Animal farm. Fantastic. And Grace, 
Sefako saying that watching from Asante Achimagogo. Yeah, so, so please, please, what can you sell? What can you sell? The, let, the, let, the, let the debate continue. Give me what? Your suggestions. Give me the things that you want to sell. Paste. Cakes and biscuits, shit up. See more. Yes. Granite paste. Granite paste. Shit up. Coconut. Co even coconut business. Now, today, people are coconut oil. My brother, my sister, let us think. Let us think. There are so many things that we can do. Thinking of chocolate business. Yeah, Dominica Semenda saying that. Thinking of chocolate. Fantastic idea. Thinking about chocolate, chocolate business. We should, we should, we should, we should, we should, we should start producing it. Let us begin to try. Let us, you see, you don't have much time on this earth. Next year, if you refuse to do it today, next year, you will regret and say that, oh, I should have started this thing last year. So please, do it anyhow. Don't wait for the right environment. Don't wait for the right condition. Don't wait that you are expecting certain big money. Okay, Chaco Business, sorry, Chaco Business. Chaco Business is fantastic. Chaco Business is fantastic business in, 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 in Accra. There are Indians that they buy this Chaco. They buy this Chaco. And what? And they send it outside the country. Thinking about going into clothes and perfume. Fantastic idea. Please. Please, 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 let us stop the thinking now. And let us begin to what? To, to, to implement the ideas. Join the, join the WhatsApp group. Join the WhatsApp group. 0244980407. But my problem, somebody saying that my problem is a starting, as my problem, my problem is a starting showing it to be people. The response I was getting was that they have the taste. It, they have to test it first. Is it advisable to give them to taste? I had less than 200. No, no, no. What you have to do is that the shop, begin to produce to the shop. Now the shops that you are selling to them, try and give them sample. Try and give them something to, something to, they, they need to test it, okay? The shops. If the shops can what? If the shops can, uh, can testify that you have a good product, they will buy Think about how you can supply the Tom Brown to 100 shops. Think about how you can supply the Tom Brown to 100 shops. And if you, are not regist if you have not registered the business, go and register the business. If you are not registered the business, go and register the business. Please, if you have, never, if you have not registered your business, go Monday and register tomorrow. Go and register the business. Go and register the business. Get in touch. Go and register the business, okay? Get, go and get, register the business, please. I want you to like this page, Power Unlimited TV. And please subscribe to my channel. I beg you, subscribe to my channel, Power Unlimited TV on YouTube. And please, the WhatsApp group. Please join the WhatsApp group. Join the WhatsApp. Don't leave the WhatsApp because I have good things to talk about. Every, every, every question that you want to ask, please go to the WhatsApp group. If you're on WhatsApp group, go to the WhatsApp group. 0244-980407. And please leave that message there. I'm going to reply you. My name is Pastor Echo Washen, And tomorrow evening, exactly 7 p.m., I'll become you. Anyone who is interested in clothing, please get in touch. Okay. They, they will get in touch. Please, anyone who is interested in clothes, get in touch. Okay. Fantastic. You are, you are in Dubai. Emilia Dark, we will talk. Now, where do they register? Go to... Register general, register general, and they will register your business for you. Go to, as I'm thinking about selling Gary and palm oil. Fantastic idea. Please, please, I beg you, let us stop the thinking, 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 and let us implement it. Let us implement it. Implement it. Wow. Nana Mata, God bless you. Let us implement it. I want to thank you for watching this powerful program. My name is Pastor Eko uh, Tomorrow evening, exactly. 7 p.m. I'll be here. But please, don't forget to share this video. Share this video. Share this video. And please like this page because this is the page that you are going to get all the information. And I'm giving it to you for free. I am giving it to you for free. Don't stop stop watching the... the, the this is what you need. 
COVID-19 has really taught us a lesson. Please, this is what you need. Please, let us think about how we can establish our own business. We need to think about, we need to establish our own business. We need our own business because if you are even, if you are doing government work, at the end of the day, you go on retirement. Ask yourself, if you go on retirement, that retirement money that they are going to give you, can, can you survive with, survive with 300 Ghana? Can you survive with 500 Ghana? Can you survive with 700? You can't. So this is the time that you have to start a business. You are young. Don't wait till when you are 60. When you are at retirement, that is when you will start a business. Start it now. Start it now. Start it now. Please like this page. Like this page. Power Unlimited TV. Like this page. And please share. I want everybody. Everybody should share this video. Everybody, please share this video. Everybody, please share this video. Please, that's the registration cost. The registration will not cost that much. So be proprietorship. It will cost you like, let's say, 150 cities. 150 cities to register your business. I'll, I'll, you, if, you are, if, you are that, uh, if you are part of my WhatsApp group, I will show you how you can go about the, the registration. So please, let us, let us, let us take note. Please, tomorrow evening is going to be a wonderful evening tomorrow. Join, join us tomorrow evening. I want to thank everybody. You made this program successful. You made it possible. Without you, this program couldn't have been successful. My name is Pastor Ekwashen. Like this page and subscribe to my channel on YouTube. And please join the page, the Facebook group. Please don't leave the page. Don't leave the Facebook group. Please don't leave the Facebook group. Join the Facebook group, okay? God bless you. Tomorrow evening, exactly 7 p.m., I'll be coming your way. Okay, Dominica, I'll, I'll share the link for you to join, okay? God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Please share the video, please share the video, share the video, share the video, share the video, and please like this page, like this page. Tomorrow evening, exactly 7 p.m., we are here. I'm going to talk about how you can raise money to start your business. God bless you, bye-bye.